Shout out to my stylist, Jazz, for the awesome pink hair. Hello, my lovely babies. Welcome back. Today's video is on the Lux Box by Playboy Vapor. Alright guys, so today we are taking a look at the Lux box. Now this is by Playboy Vapor and it's officially licensed. This is the kit. You can get these pieces individually. So you don't have to buy the whole kit, but they pretty much go together. It is the Lux box and the Vixen tank. And I'll go ahead and show you guys. Oh, silky nice packaging. That would, Playboy would do that. So if you've seen my review for the Vixen tank, I will link below if you haven't. I did a separate review on this atomizer all by itself. Here is the Lux box. Under the soft layer right here, you have the instruction manual, two coil replacements for the Vixen tank. So here is the mod with the Playboy Bunny logos. We have the fire button that also has the Playboy Bunny logo, the regulatory buttons and the OLED screen. Here is the 510 connection. The bottom has battery venting and this is where dual 18650s go. So the dimensions of this box are 80.5 millimeters by 57 millimeters by 25 millimeters. This does do variable wattage or temperature control mode up to 150 watts or up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and it's equivalent in Celsius. This mod can vape down to 0.1 ohms and up to 3 ohms. Now this needs two 18650 batteries. It does not have a charge port so you have to take the batteries out and charge them with an external charging bay. And this is embossed luxury genuine leather around the mod. Now normally I'm not really pro animal fur or leather. I I like fake stuff, faux fur and fake leather, pleather, I'm all about that. But it's Playboy, what are you gonna expect? So it also comes in two other colors, I believe, white and gold, maybe four other colors, because the Vixen tank comes in four colors. I will put a link below where you can check out this mod for yourself. You can check out the kit, this mod, or just the Vixen tank. So here it is all put together. I need to fill up this tank a little bit. Now I am noticing there is a tiny, tiny space between the tank and the mod. Now it's all personal preference, but I'm not particularly fond of dual 18650 devices. You know, if you really, really want a Playboy branded mod with the leather and the Playboy logo, this would be the mod for you. Like I said, I'm gonna stick to my Kanger Anybox. So now that we have this all hooked together, let's give it a go. Mm, well, <laughs> the flavor is good because I love the e-liquid and this tank is good. I'm trying to like feel for this right now. Oh, my nails are ratchet. My hair's on point. Nails, not so much. That's embarrassing. I should have fixed those. Thinking if I were to hold it, I would hold it like this because I'm right-handed, but then you have the leather seam and I really don't like that. I could hold it in my left hand, but I'm not left-handed and if I was to hold it in my left hand, I'd I usually fire with my finger. I These are the things that I think about like after the video's over. Like how would I hold this? Like what's the most comfortable <laughs> way to hold this device? Because all the devices are kind of different. But this is pretty similar to the Kanger Tech Anybox, like the size. It's just a little bit shorter and a little bit shorter there, but it's like seriously almost the same size. And I like my Anybox because I can hold it in my right hand like this. I don't even know why I attempt vape tricks, I just fail. This is on the pricier side, but it is a Playboy branded item. The tank is not that bad. This tank like alone is only around $25 to $30. And if you are someone that is going to use a dual 18650 device or a dual any battery device, you wanna make sure that the batteries match up in the voltage output as well as the amperage. I've never tried it, but I've heard mixing batteries is not a good thing. So if you've tried this mod, the Playboy Lux box, comment below and tell me what you think of it. If you would try it, let me know which color would you get it in. We are probably fallen in love with the white version of this, just because it's kind of hard to see the logo, but then again, it's leather and y'all know how I feel about leather. That's all personal preference. It is a pretty light mod. For a mod that takes two 18650 batteries, it is not that heavy. I'd have to say, it's probably, it feels kind of lighter than 
the any box and that has only one 18650 battery in it if you're interested in the Lux box or the vixen tank i will link below but that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like elo goods mods etc you can follow me on almost any social media site like instagram or twitter i also have a facebook page if you don't get enough of me here you can check out my second channel where i upload videos that aren't vaping related and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys. Oops, I forgot to ask if you guys wanted a one month update, but honestly, not my most favorite device, even though you'd think it would be because it's Playboy branded and it's super cute. I am just hooked on my Anybox right now. Nothing has impressed me so far as much as the Anybox. I like the Target mod, but probably the Anybox is my fave right now.